Hello, my name is Joseph Lanasa and I'm a technical writer for Synergy Advisors. Today I'd like to introduce you to Microsoft Rights Management for Individuals, a service that allows users to securely protect and exchange files with others. RMS for Individuals is a free subscription for users who want to create and consume protected content but are in organizations that have not yet implemented rights management services. This service is a simple solution for small businesses that do not house an IT department but need data protection. In this video, you will discover the benefits of using RMS for individuals and see an example of how you might use it with the RMS sharing application. The service is free and easy to use. To get started, you merely need to register, install the application, and invoke the share protected verb on a file. Let's break this down step by step. To sign up for a free account, open a web browser and navigate to portal.aadrm.com. Input your organizational email address and click Get Started. Microsoft will now check the email address supplied to see whether your organization already has an Office 365 or Azure Active Directory account. If that is the case, there is no reason for Microsoft to create a new account and you will be prompted to sign in with your existing account. Now we will wait for a confirmation email message to be sent from Microsoft to the email address that you supplied. When you receive the email, click the link in the instructions to complete the sign-up process. Wait for another email message from Microsoft confirming that your account is ready to use. When you receive this email, click the link in the instructions to download and install the RMS sharing application, or click the help link to read the RMS sharing application user guide, which also contains instructions for installation. Now your account is created and you're ready to start protecting and consuming protected content. When prompted to sign in to protect or read protected files, enter the email address and password that you used to create the account for RMS for individuals. I've just demonstrated how you can subscribe for a free RMS account. Now let's take a look at the process of sharing a piece of protected content. Here, Chase has just finished creating an unprotected document which is considered sensitive and should be protected. He needs to send this document to Charlie, an employee of a partner organization. Chase protects the document by clicking the Share Protected icon. He inputs the external user's email address, gives him granular permissions using the slider bar, and clicks Send. Notice that this creates a draft mail message with the protected file attached. Now, Chase's partner Charlie receives a document, signs up for an RMS for Individuals account, and opens the protected document. An RMS for Individuals account allows you to create and consume protected content. RMS for Individuals does not require any on-premises infrastructure and can be set up without IT assistance. An RMS for Individuals account is not dependent on the partner account in any way. Now, what happens in the background when a user signs up for an RMS for Individuals account? When the first user from an organization requests a subscription for RMS, the domain name supplied in their email address is cross-referenced to see whether it is already associated with an Office 365 or Azure Active Directory subscription. If not, an unmanaged Azure Active Directory account will be created for use. When the second user from the organization requests an RMS or individual subscription, a new user account is added to the existing Azure Directory. This user can do everything that the first user can, and, in addition, these two users will be able to securely collaborate because they can quickly apply default templates to files, restricting access to accounts in their organization's Azure Active Directory. Subsequent users from the organization follow the same pattern. The organization can take control of the Azure Active Directory account by converting it into a paid subscription. This allows administrators to create customized RMS rights policy templates and allow users an enhanced collaboration experience. There are no adverse effects to existing RMS users during this transition. Over the course of this video, I've shown you how you can sign up for RMS or individuals, allowing you to create and consume protected content without any on-premises infrastructure. We have also seen how you can share protected content with a trusted user inside or outside your organization. This video provides a simple overview of how each technology functions. If you are interested in learning more, please visit our YouTube channel where you can find detailed videos on additional RMS components. Synergy Advisors provides consultancy and training focused on information protection with Microsoft RMS. For more information on how Microsoft RMS can simplify your information protection needs, 
please visit our website at synergyadvisors.biz or the Microsoft RMS website at microsoft.com/rms. Thank you for watching.